guys so today is friday the 28th of april and i have officially decided to start competition prep no god no god please no 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 now we have a little bit of a difference this time. The last, woof, how many years? It's like seven years I have competed in the fitness division. For those of you who don't really know about bodybuilding, the fitness division is a bigger physique look than say something like bikini. It's very similar to figure, but we're only scored one third on our physique and then two thirds on our fitness routine, which has to include Four mandatory moves, a press up of some kind, a high kick, a straddle hold and the splits and obviously you're scored on the difficulty, the strength moves you put in, the cardio, so how quick paced the whole thing is, how flexible you are and then the overall performance as well and a lot of the girls are ex-gymnasts, cheerleaders, all sorts and they have a lot of amazing skills which I'm more of a dancer, well I am a dancer, so my routines are very much dance based and not so much skill based and obviously the last few years the division has got bigger in terms of the physique round and it's just not a look that I personally am after. Um, I've done really well in the fitness division to be honest and I'm really proud of everything I've achieved. My pro debut, I came second at the Arnold America, two weeks later I won the Arnold Australia qualified for the Olympia three times, placed multiple times at the Arnold. My most recent competition was the Arnold 2022, where I came fourth. So I've had a really good run, but I had my surgery back in November where both my implants were ruptured. If you want to know more about that, there's a whole playlist documenting that whole saga. And I've been a little bit nervous to, you know, really train any skill stuff since the surgery. And my surgeon thinks that they ruptured because of all the intense training. I'd started doing powerlifting, so it's benching, a lot of gymnastic moves, things like that. And I'm sure I'd be okay to do the gymnastics moves and press ups and things like that again. But seeing as, you know, we're only in April and the surgery was only in November, I just still don't feel like I want to do things like that. I don't want to risk anything right now. And also I don't want my physique to be any bigger. And obviously the way the division is going, I feel like I am not fitting that division maybe anymore and my skills just aren't the same as some of the other girls and to be honest I just I just don't feel like I love the division for me personally anymore or at the moment anyway so I've decided to compete as a pro because I have my pro card as soon as you have your pro card you can compete in any division so I'm going to try my hand at pro bikini now, I'm sure a lot of you are not surprised because I've been posting a few cryptic things on my Instagram, toying with the idea of competing in bikini, but I think it will be a really fun challenge. Uh, it will be a much less stressful prep, I think, because I won't have to worry about my routine practice, practicing gymnastics, practicing skills, doing a lot more hit cardio to keep my endurance up. Um, all I'm going to have to do really is just train and diet, um, which is still going to be hard. Obviously, I competed in bikini when I very, very first started competing in 2014. But I just think I'll be able to train a little bit differently, a little bit less. Uh, I won't be, you know, the goal won't be to grow, 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 which I didn't really want to do anyway. Um, so I'm really excited to start this prep. It starts today. And my training plan is through from the coach that I'm working with. I'll probably share a bit more details on that in the near future. Um, but working with someone who obviously is very, very experienced with pro bikini. And I just thought that would be a really good fit for this prep. I want to try something a little bit uh, different. And I think I'll suit working with this coach really well. So my training plan is four days a week which I'm really happy about. Cardio is only three times a week at the moment. Obviously with bikini, there's gonna be a lot of focus on glutes, shoulders, um, but my training is still including, you know, hamstrings and back. Obviously we spoke about, um, I don't need to train chest and I don't want to train chest. So obviously I won't be training chest, won't be training fitness skills, gymnastics. You know, who says I won't go along to gymnastics at some point for a bit of fun, but, for now, I've been really enjoying uh, lowering my training volume 
and I'm trying to find something where I'm going to feel passionate again about training because at the moment I've just been going to get it done. You know, uh, we're not always super motivated to go. We just go and do it and tick it off. Um, and the last few months, especially after my surgery, I've just not really been feeling super pumped about going to the gym. So hopefully now with the new training plan and a goal in place, I'll feel a little bit more excited each day. So yeah, I've still got an OCR, so an obstacle course run coming up in June. So we'll have to still incorporate some running um, just to make sure I'm able to run uh, for the 10K race, which I'm sure won't be an issue. So I'll still add in some running. Obviously, I'll communicate plenty with my coach on what I'm doing and what I should not be doing. But uh, yeah, I'm going to start my diet today and I've taken my photos. So, you know, I'm looking more normal, more curvaceous, holding more body fat, obviously. I'm just going to show you my physique kind of relaxed, just in my slippers. So here we go. I'm weighing 142.4 pounds this morning. When I step on stage for fitness, I'm like 123 pounds ish so no idea how much i'll have to drop for bikini bikini is more muscular at the moment which is fantastic i just think we've got to be careful of like my quads because they were always an issue when i used to compete in bikini and they're just really quite well developed and quite big i'm quite short i'm five foot three so we want to be careful of you know not overbuilding the quads not overbuilding my arms things like that but my coach thinks I have a good bikini look right now. Um, I've done bikini poses on previous preps before just to see how I look and sent them over and uh, doesn't seem to be a lot that needs changing. But we'll see because, you know, my training's been a little bit different the last few months. Um, so we'll see what I look like underneath here. But yeah, just thought I'd update you. Really excited. And uh, I'll speak to you soon.